Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game two of Komodoka Dragon versus Chuckhead. Here again, we will have a one minute turn duration with Chuckhead playing as the sun once more. We will have the dawn scheme this game. And Chuckhead will start things off with a water spawn in the bottom left of his horizon. Komodoka to respond will start the game with an earth in the bottom left of his horizon. Chuckhead opts for a fire piece. Spawning that adjacent to his initial water. Water piece from Komodoka adjacent to his earth. Fire will be the final deployment from the sun in the bottom left of the horizon. And a water in the bottom right for Komodoka. Quick water spawn from Chuckhead. Advancement of his adept 2. And a deployment of the shield behind the sun. Ending his turn. Komodoka 2 respond. Chuckhead has a lot of options here with his water pieces. Water piece of Komodoka collides with a wall and places it to the left, followed by a spawning of a fire piece in the now empty space where the water was. Chuckhead will collide his water piece with the shield and relocate his water piece up one space. Second action will be to move the fire piece up four, and the third action collides with the wall and places it to the left. He now has some good options threatening the adept of Komodoka. Komodoka will respond by protecting his adept, advancing his earth piece up three, pushing the adept one space, so the walls are no longer accessible from the water pieces of Chuckhead. Second action will be to move his fire piece up four. And his final action will be thirty seconds on the clock. Uh, advancement of his adept up one, deployment of a shield, and then a retreat from the adept. First and second action from Chuckhead will be to relocate his adept. Oh, and then he's going to move to and capture the fire piece of Komodoka, drawing first blood. Excellent play there. Well done from Chuckhead to take the first piece. We now have a one-piece advantage for Chuckhead. Komodoka to respond. Advances his adept two spaces. Deploys a shield behind the sun. Collides his water piece with the wall. Oh, and now moves his earth piece up to capture the adept of Chuckhead. Um, Chuckhead will be forced to respawn, chooses to respawn in the adept location, and then a fire piece will capture the adept of Komodoka. Komodoka forced to respawn, responds, responds as well in the adept spot. Questionable choice as he is now being threatened by two water pieces of Chuckhead. Uh, I expect a protection play, uh, maybe even similar to the one before. Yes, there it is with the earth piece protecting collision of the wall there. Chuckhead to respond will collide with the earth piece. Oh, placing it back in line of sight of his fire piece. Shots fired. That will be taken. I imagine the water piece there will be traded from, uh, will be taken by the adept of Komodoka. Advancement of his water piece collides with the wall. He will not relocate the wall. Adept moves up one, captures the water piece by deploying a shield, and then retreats. I don't like the placement of that Adept, uh, as Chuckhead can simply move his son out of the way and then capture that. Oh, opts to move his fire piece first. Oh, and then spawn an earth piece. He will opt not to capture the enemy Adept um, for whatever reason. Okay. <laughs> Komodoka got away with one there. Perhaps Charlie just wanted to make a huge advantage, have four pieces to two. Komodoka spawns a fire piece in the bottom right of his horizon. And his last and final action will be... Hmm. Uh, nothing. He's going to opt to just pass the turn. All right. So, Chuckhead moves his Adept up to deploys a shield. Ah, opening the flank for the collision of the water piece. Um, killing the Adept, forcing a respawn next turn. And his final action will be to advance his Earth piece up a bit. <clears throat> Komodoka will spawn the moon in the bottom left of his horizon. 
we still have a one piece advantage retreat from the water piece of Chuck Head. A lot of options here. Chuck Head has a really good board state. Advancement of the sun up two spaces. Deployment of the shield. Will not occur. He then pushes his fire piece up two spaces. Uh, he needs to protect that water piece. Water piece has can be captured by both the adept and the water piece of Komodoka. Um, doesn't look like he wants to do that though. Perhaps he's just going to trade uh, one for one. Maybe he has something in mind. Fire piece will move up three. Four? No, I don't think he wants to do that. No, no, no. Undoes that move. Moves at three. Ends his turn. Okay. So, Komodoka could lose his Adept and his Water Piece here. We'll see. I'm sorry. Chuckhead could lose his Adept. Oh, one piece taken. There it is. The Adept advances two. Captures the Water Piece. Oh, the, that opens the flank for the Water Piece to capture. Oh, and the other Water Piece captures. Three captures in one turn there from Komodoka. Well played to even the board back out. Two pieces to two. <laughs> That was a uh, that was a really good play. Deploying the shield opened the flank for the water piece to then capture the adept of Chuckhead, and then that allowed for the water piece to capture the other piece. Final movement from Komodoka will be to move his fire piece on the wall. Chuckhead will then move his earth piece down, pushing his fire into position to take the water of Komodoka. We just now have a one piece lead for Chuckhead. Komodoka opts to advance his moon two spaces and deploy a shield capturing the fire piece of Chuckhead. Second action will be to relocate his fire piece onto the adjacent wall uh, covering more ground there. Chuckhead has the option to capture the enemy adept First spawns a fire piece in the bottom right of his horizon. That'll be his final fire piece. Um, and it looks like he's looking to not capture and instead pushes his adept two spaces and then moves his earth piece to safety. We have one water and two possible earth pieces to spawn for Chuckhead and one of each for Komodoka. Very close game. Earth piece spawned in the bottom right of Komodoka's horizon. Third and final action will be advancement of his adept two spaces. And uh, I believe he'll lose his adept here. Yep. Movement of the sun two spaces and then pushes the moon into the wall. Uh, Chuckhead will lose his adept for that, but he will force a respawn. Uh, so kind of trading even there and advancing his fire piece up a few spaces. Adept spawns for the moon in the adept location and then the capture of the adept there with the final action. Charlie will opt to spawn his adept in the adept spot as well and his final action will be to move the earth piece up a bit. <laughs> Water piece spawned in the bottom left of Komodoka's Horizon. That will be his final water piece spawn. His third and final action with 35 seconds on the clock. He advances his fire piece. Oh, nice. To the shield and then moves back with the shield one space out of line of sight of the fire piece of Chuckhead. He is now threatening the earth piece and the adept of Chuckhead. So a bit of a fork there, if you will. Chess term. Threatening two pieces with one piece without being in harm's way himself. That's a good move there. Chuckhead will retreat two spaces with his earth piece. Advance his adept two spaces, opt not to deploy the shield, and with his final action, will move 
his firepiece onto a wall out of line of sight of Commodicus firepiece. And it also cannot be collided with by the water piece of Commodica. So two pieces to three. Uh, Commodica opting for the macro play here, trying to get himself a nice lead, is going to spawn his last earth piece adjacent to his water piece in the bottom left of his own horizon. His third and final action with 30 seconds on the clock. He will move up one with his fire piece upon the wall. I'm sorry, upon the shield. Can't move with walls. Chuckhead will then spawn his final water piece, uh, threatening the fire piece of Komodika. He will then move his adept up one space, spawn a shield behind where the adept was, and then advance one more space forward out of line of sight of the fire piece. So, um, perhaps, he, perhaps he was trying to protect his water piece there, or per, perhaps he expects Komodika to move his fire piece with the shield and then has now the option to relocate the water piece in front of that shield or to deploy the shield and then collide with the wall. Komodika moves his adept two spaces. Opts not to deploy the shield as it would cause the death of his fire piece. Second action advances his fire piece once, or I'm sorry, his earth piece one space and does not do any pushing. His third action, five seconds on the clock. Moves the fire piece with the shield to threaten the sun and move it out of harm's way. Good play from Komodika. Bit of a bluff there from Chuckhead to make him think that it was safe, but he did notice it at the end that he wants to protect that fire piece. All right, Chuck had to move, advances his son two spaces, opts not to deploy the shield. Chuck had will then collide with his own shield and move one space forward. Third and final action from Chuckhead, 13 seconds on the clock. All right. Chuckhead will retreat a little bit with his fire piece, moving to another wall, perhaps just trying to uh, prevent the movement along that right flank from the moon adept. Uh, we have a push. Nope, that'll be undone. Thirty seconds to play. Three actions remaining. We have a movement with the shield from Komodica. Two spaces by the fire piece. A push three from the earth piece of Komodica, and the final action will be to collide the water piece with the bear. Nope, I will be undone. Final action will be... Yes, to collide with the wall and relocate it behind. Um, Chuckhead can capture several pieces here. We'll see what he opts to do. He can push the water piece and then move the shield of Komodica. Capture that fire piece. He can move his adept two spaces and destroy the earth of Komodoko by deploying a shield. He opts not to do that. Moves the. Um, he's not going to capture any pieces. Okay. Interesting plays. Um, well, okay. Uh, I think he just lost. But I'm not sure here. Yeah. Bloop. 
All right, so we have a double capture from Komodika. He will lose his fire piece uh, as he spawned his shield from his adept that the fire piece was on, so it fell off and died. However, he did capture two pieces, and this turn he will push his adept three spaces and move his adept two spaces in order to win the game. 2-0 from Komodika. That'll be the series in the best of three. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the game and want to check it out yourself, go ahead and head over to HermeticaTheGame.com where you can play the full game for free.